uh, project here. I got a little uh, five inch black and white TV. Uh, this little portable TV, you plug it in, uh, take it wherever you go, plug it into the car, run it on batteries, uh, or just plug it in at home. Um, it's black and white. Uh, didn't have any video or audio inputs. Uh, all it had was antenna. Um, I was able to use a, uh, I believe it's called a Balin connector, um, jump to a coaxial connector. Uh, and then that can go into DVD or uh, VHS. I already had this hooked up last night. I was watching um, the X-Files fight the future I had left in the VCR from whenever, however many years ago I put it away, probably like 10 years ago. Um, so uh, what I got here is a little cigar box uh, and the idea here is to make a an old Philco Predecta from like the 19, I don't know, it was like what, 46 and I don't know when they stopped making them, something like that anyway. Uh, they were called the Predicta and it was a real streamlined television. Um, it wasn't just a, you know, a, a monitor in a box. Uh, it was something different. It was actually, uh, you had the monitor that would float over uh, the box and whether it, it might have been a, a tower, a stand-up tower with the monitor on top or a box similar to this with the monitor uh, again suspended above uh, with the you know you could pivot and swivel a little bit so uh, they look great they had a plastic cover that would protect all this because you know this is all pretty dangerous back here and you can't leave it exposed once it's charged um, so that's really what I want to do is uh, figure out a way to, to get a mount on this to hold this up a few inches above the box uh, and again just a cigar box is the anode sticking out here um, I gotta run about 10 wires out of the cigar box up into the monitor um, I got the little speaker here and I will just probably hot glue this up here drill some holes for it for the sound um, again some more connections up to the monitor the only thing I really need to get need to figure out right now is this piece um, which is I really don't think too much of this is necessary because this uh, TV was also a radio um, it would have and it I don't, I don't know where I put the, the TV oh here it is there perfect so you can see what I'm talking about so you got all your stations up here and that's where this little white dial would would go back and forth across here and tell you as you're tuning it what you're uh, watching or listening to I'm gonna ditch all that because who really cares about uh, you know the TV or the radio function on a uh, something a mini predicta which I think is just a pretty neat concept in itself uh, I looked all around I couldn't find anybody else who did this I don't know why but uh, so anyway, I gotta trim this down. I don't think much of this board is necessary. I know this is uh, what AM, FM, or just strictly AM. I'm not sure what uh, antenna. So uh, I'll strip that down and just have the tuner knob here. Um, I'll probably go to something a little bit smaller if possible, and I'll, I don't know. I'll find a place to poke that out. Uh, what I haven't done yet on this is the sound, sound, uh, the volume will be right here. It'll be a little, uh, there we go, a little round dish. I lost it. There it is. And that'll just, you know, spin inside to turn the volume up and down here. I'll have a uh, power on off and uh, if necessary the function to switch between UHF um, you know what this really isn't my uh, I'm not too familiar with all this stuff there's there's like two other options it's like ultra high frequency uh, very high frequency or something like that uh, there's there's like three functions but um, okay and then on the back pretty simple there's a uh, horizontal vertical and contrast uh, knobs I need to make these holes ever so slight those are actually the, the knobs poking out there I need to make them ever so slightly bigger um, and it'll come out a little bit it'll be easier to tune and then back here um, I've got 
this will be the power uh, DC or uh, AC in headphone which I don't think will ever be necessary to use and then the antenna in um, so that's about it that's the project I got going here I just threw this together tonight I found this little box I forgot I bought at a I bought a bunch of them at a garage sale thinking I'd do uh, a cigar box guitar at some point and I probably will with the other ones but for the time being it just happens to be like pretty close to a perfect fit for this so you know more to come but uh, there you go uh, I don't know if you want to call it homebrew or just do it yourself or whatever, but uh, really I'm just taking the guts out of a piece of Chinese plastic and cramming it into a cigar box. But it's different, so there you have it.